friends! So for those of you who are already here, this is brand new to all of us. We are Keto Life on Tour. We are brand new to YouTube. We are figuring out how this whole thing works. And what we've realized is part of what makes this Keto Life on Tour so fun is that we literally tour all over the country. We meet our Keto friends. We get to know this Keto community. And we just had the very best opportunity to do that. And so we traveled all the way to Orlando, Florida from Ooh. Kansas City. We did not take the 36 foot RV. There was RV. no bus this There time. was no bus. There were no kids. This is, See, this is, no there, bus, was, there no were no kids. kids. No bus. We got on the bus. airplane, <laughs> came down to Orlando, and we were able to go to the Keto Orlando Summit of 2022. And I've got to tell you, both of us just feel like we are on fire after this weekend. We don't care how tired we are. We don't care how late we stayed up and how early we got up because we could not have imagined missing a single moment that we were able to enjoy while we were there. And so we just wanted to hop on for a minute. We're figuring out how and when to share all of this with you because it feels like we could share all of it with you all the time. <laughs> and that's kind of what we were discussing is that we live keto all the time. Just our lives. Our how five kids eat low carb. We cook all of our meals. Um, for those of you who are new to us and who we are, I'm Mary Daniels, this is Andy Daniels, and we are a keto family with five low carb kids. And what's gotten really fun is I've lost 125 pounds in this weight loss journey, Andy has lost close to 50, and we've been able to enjoy this lifestyle in an abundance mentality, and then we transitioned our kids to kind of a low carb life. And so it's been very, very cool. And we have gotten to the point we've fallen in love with the keto community, the people that have made this so much fun, the people who have changed how much and how invested and how motivated we are in our own journeys because we, we're not doing it alone. It's not just us in our house with our kids. We've got a whole bunch of friends who we've connected with, who are cheering us on, who have become part of this world of ours. And so we took off last year from the Keto Orlando Summit 2021 in the RV and we started touring all over the country in the RV with the kids while homeschooling, while working on the road. <laughs> yeah, and we went and met a bunch of our keto friends. We went to their homes, we showed up in the bus. Their homes, their businesses, wherever their they were businesses. at, we met them. We sat down with them, some of them at their kitchen tables with their kids, what, you know, in their, in their space. We kind of came to their turf. And so this was a big, big way to get to do that. And so this last month-ish alone, we got to go to KetoCon. We got to go to Keto Orlando. We are looking at the cool keto events that are coming up at the end of the, the year. There's and we some realized, good ones. We don't want to miss them. No, no. <laughs> we want to be part of everything we can be part of. And so this was a great opportunity for us to sit down and talk to our friends and hear their stories and share what they've done. But we haven't gotten good at sharing that with you yet. And we understand that. We understand that this YouTube thing is something that you're going to have to be patient with us on. I um, figured it out. You'll see some it. weird videos oh, once in a while. It's going to be bad <laughs> until it's good. And I think that that's one of the things that we're most excited about. And so we wanted to come on and kind of show us a little bit because so far these videos are kind of us running around conferences, getting to know people, not much story. And we definitely have a really fun, cool story. If you're on our page right now, if you go down to the bottom, we linked an interview we did with two crazy ketos who helped kind of push us into this YouTube world off of Instagram, which is where I shared my story, my weight loss, everything for the first few years. Couple which is years. also Keto Life on Tour Keto on Instagram. Keto Life on yes. Tour on Instagram. Uh, two years actually in July. So I've been sharing, I showed starting at about 60 some odd pounds all the way through this journey, all the way through an initial um, skin removal surgery. And we kind of talked about now is the time to kind of start sharing a different view of us, a different version of us, all of us, um, and not just these, these captioned moments of this journey, but kind of everything that goes into it. And so we just left Orlando. We came down to a beautiful home down in the south part of Florida. And we we're going to sit and enjoy that for the next few days. But it got us thinking, it got us talking, it got us wanting to share a little more because nine weeks from now, I have my second skin removal surgery. After extreme weight loss, um, there's some stuff that's gone on. I've carried, like I said, five babies in this belly. But only so four pregnancies. Only four pregnancies. Those last ones, two for one special. See, this is why the story, this is why it's about time for <laughs> we'll us. We'll do it. We'll we do the whole story. This, yeah. this week, we there's promise more. It's coming. to it's sit coming. down and actually put together <laughs> our story um, because the whole point of Keto Life on Tour was to tour the country to tell other people's stories. And so we've started releasing those. So far, Mary Roberts, Keto Mary 71, um, has her interview up. 
her tour talk from is Lockhart, what, Texas. Lockhart, Texas, yes. Barbecue Capital. Um, Erica Bell, the woman behind the initial Keto Orlando Summit, who has now partnered with a good friend of ours, um, Judith. We, they are this tag team, phenomenal women owned. Put on just, a great oh, event. Gosh, it yep. was so great. They, they know how to do and it. so we are starting to share some of the stories of some of our friends, and we went. We haven't gotten on here and shared our story yet. We haven't talked about who we are oh, and what we've done and it. where it they came from and what keto's been for us. And so with our nine-year-old, eight-year-old, five-year-old, and twins that are two and a Twin half, <laughs> it's been quite the story. It's been a whole lot of fun. But we just wanted to take, I think, this moment initially to let you know we're here. We're ready for it. We're going to figure out this YouTube thing. We're going to learn what there is to know. We know none of it yet. None of it yet, but I was bad I at Instagram too. I know a little bit. I had like, I'm very I, small it was enough. not social media was not much. I don't even have Facebook. Yeah. Like, I don't think was, you need it. <laughs> we're going to stay up. We're going to stay right away from that. But we are very excited for the opportunity to kind of share a little bit more about what we're doing here, a little bit more about why we're doing it. And so we're going to take some time this week and we're going to share our story. And then we've decided to kind of start. Is it a series? Is it called I think a series? It's, I think We're you on call YouTube. It a series? Is this a series? Yes, I think that's what it is. A series because in nine weeks I get my second skin removal surgery. And then we decided that we just want to make sure I'm at my best going into it, that I heal as well as I can, that I feel a hundred percent, that the energy's there, that the collagen's there, that the electrolytes Collagen's are very there. Important. And that the muscle is there because what I'm doing is called a brachioplasty. And so um, for those of you who don't know, we're at least doing a brachioplasty. We're going to just, we'll call it that for right, right now. <laughs> I have a brachioplasty booked and paid for at this moment um, for October 10th, which is nine weeks from tomorrow. And part of what skin removal surgery is, is obviously removing the excess skin. Right now, I have some excess skin that is getting removed. All of this. Look at this. Bye. Bye. It's going by. Um, that I have, you know, carried with me through this whole journey. It's been um, four years next month for keto for me. And this is something that I am very excited to be able to get rid of. We can fold it. We can flip it. We can, it's time to say thank you it's time and let to it say go. Thank you <laughs> and goodbye. Yeah. But there is still quite a bit of thickness and what we'll call it fat. There's fat in there. And so releasing as much of that as possible so that surgery can go well, it can be tight, the scarring can heal, um, all of that. And so my husband, this man, Andy Daniels, um, has agreed to help me on a workout journey that I have never, ever, ever participated in since high school. Um, this is one of the really interesting things, I think, is that part of my claim to fame, and you'll hear you'll hear more of this as we start to roll out little bits and pieces of the story. There's no all at once on this story. It is not a tour it's talk. It's too much. Yeah. That is a single talk. Um, but I lost the first 106 pounds of my journey, um, of my weight. All this got released. We'll just say I released 106 pounds before the first time I went for a walk mm -hmm. for exercise purposes before the first time that I purposely engaged in something that was meant to increase the amount of calories I was burning and release, you know, all you the it, things that happened. You did happen. it all with food choices. It was 100% with food for yeah. over 106 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I still have probably only walked consistently <laughs> two little sets of 75 days or so, if I were to guess. Yeah. I've done 75 my way twice and I walked on those, on those um, challenges and I got, you know, I enjoy that. I enjoy that part of it. I have not been in a weight room. I have not done more than maybe a day or two at the gym without getting scared and fearful and walking away um, since since about 18 years ago. I was going to say my sophomore year of high school is probably the last time I was doing the two a days. I was in the weight room. I was a very competitive swimmer. I was an athlete, and some things happened. And weight weight my weight caught me, and it kept keeping me, and it got to the point it got me like I it was. It was a spot where I didn't know how to confidently um, buy into building muscle, getting strong, all these things that seemed really scary. And so I've been able to lose a whole bunch of weight and I've been able to get into a really cool size of jeans that I've never seen, like never saw as a child even. Um, when I moved into women's sizes, this size was before those sizes. Um, and all these really, really, really cool parts of this, but there's been a whole lot of fear around getting strong, around exercising consistently, around not just using the food. 
and it's gotten to a really interesting point with keto where it's almost been the crutch. The food's so easy for me at this point. It's second nature. And delicious. It's, and delicious. Look what we ate tonight. It was a good night. If you didn't see it, we just, we just posted fish. what we ate tonight. So delicious. And we don't keep it in the house. As both of us work for ourselves from home, we homeschool all five of those kids. Each and every meal every single day is made by me or this guy. Lots of the baking. The baking happens here. Like the meats. I do the meats. I do the meats. Andy meats does. and sweets. Meats and sweets. There we go. And then meat sweats. That's what? Meat sweats. No. <laughs> and then it's weird. Um, but it really is we do all of it together in our own home. And so I'm not worried about the food. I'm not stressed about having to say no at a, you know, an office party or anything like that. But it's gotten to the point that that's almost a crutch at this point. This is something that's easy that I'm like, oh, I'll just keep on keeping on. And I've noticed that my body is ready for me to give it the next bit of nourishment for my dopamine levels and my serotonin levels for needing that little bit of exercise, the vitamin D, as much as I love it. I am a, a girl, if you can put me in a swimsuit and put me out next in the sun, I'm good, but not quite enough. I think it's time to do some things that get my heart rate up, that strengthen you know my organs and my muscles and allow me to go into this feeling like I did everything I could to be the strongest, best version of myself that I could. And it's a scary one. It is. We're, we're gonna just, have fun. We're gonna have fun. Look it's how good he turn is. Your, turn he just, your anxiety into enthusiasm. It is, it's be yes. So much fun. And I think that I've rejected this part of my journey for so long. I'm ready to embrace it and be energized by it. And so Andy and I are gonna start a whole process of taking me from where I am now, which is perfectly fine. And perfectly happy and I'm in a good spot. I actually love everything that's happening here, but taking the next nine weeks to make sure I am at my best going into this, that this brachioplasty when all of this gets tucked and cut away, which doesn't, I know that doesn't sound fun to some of you. <sighs> to me, this is where I carried my weight for 20 some odd years. I am ready to say goodbye and welcome to the next season and the next stage. But I know I owe myself my best at this stage. Yeah. And you have bought into letting some other things go, moving some other things off of our plates and saying this is a season and a time where we're going to focus. There's a caveat to that. There's a caveat to that. We, need we leave. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We leave in less than two weeks. We're going in two weeks. Back on the road. Back on tour. Back on tour. We got to get out there. Back in the bus. You know, the, the keto season. bus is coming. The keto it's bus is coming. <laughs> it's the season <laughs> for it. Everything's going to cool off. It's yes. the perfect time. We could not go. Couldn't possibly. So we can't interrupt our lives for this workout thing. Couldn't We're just going to have There's to no do it. Membership. We're going to have to do it on the road. We're going to have to get creative. We're going to get creative. And Andy has agreed. My <laughs> very creative husband has said, no excuses. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if we're on the road. Doesn't matter if we're in the Tetons. Doesn't matter if we're in Glacier. Doesn't matter if we're in Yellowstone. Doesn't matter if we're in Rocky Mountain. Doesn't matter if we're in the Badlands. Doesn't matter if we have gym equipment. You might doesn't matter see if it's us raining. Tossing logs back and forth to each other. We don't know exactly <laughs> what this is going to look like. How is it going to work? We don't know. But I've committed to getting strong, to getting my heart rate up, to lifting heavy things. Apparently, that's part of this. Got to lift some heavy things. Got to lift some heavy things. They'll have things. you lift some light things too. Light things. There'll be light things, things in there. Yes. All the things. I'm going to lift things. Two, two, two babies that are, what, 35 plus pounds each? Yeah. Not doing it anymore, apparently. So I'm going to lift <laughs> other things. And for the next nine weeks, mm -hmm. we're going to go all in. And so we are going to start here in Florida these next three days, these first three days that we have together as a couple. I'm going to say something that's crazy that we talked about oh. at dinner. This is the first time outside of our staycation in Kansas City that we have left our hometown and gone on a trip mm -hmm. that wasn't keto centric, like four keto friends, four keto connections, even a keto wedding. We, we, we're weird we enough. We go. went to our keto friend's wedding that we hadn't met in real life. Never met them before. Went and it was the time of life and she's now one Loved of our best it. friends. Yep. We went and stayed with another keto couple at their house. Who never we met never her before. Met. <laughs> and we flew out there and fast got to friends. know them. We like to be fast we friends. We have traveled all over the country in the bus, but with our family mm -hmm. to see our keto friends. And then we have come to now three keto events that we did by ourselves, the kids free, together. Mm -hmm. But we did not have time outside of that event where it was just us. So for us, this is night one of just our time together. And believe it or not, a whole 15 minutes into going, we can do anything we want. We went, what would we do? And then we decided that for nine weeks. <laughs> we, we, should, get, we, we should work out in an RV with our kids homeschooling on the road all over the country. <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're here right now, just know like this is what you get with us. Like this, yeah. there is no slow 
when we share what we are or who we are and sleep what we when do, you're dead right we don't need sleep no we make people <laughs> uncomfortable so if you're uncomfortable with this level of like what are they going to do next we don't not, know we can tell you, for you. The, yeah. well, i'm supposed to there point will be no itinerary likes and subscribes or yeah. shares it's or around there or so go find it <laughs> find those things all those things that i'm supposed to do this is not for you you guys if it can makes do you it. uncomfortable that <laughs> you we literally it. don't know what you're going to get from us today today yeah where are they I, what city are they in yeah are there kids with them we'll have to start How like many a kids map. do they have yeah what are they up to Who i think we have five right just five just five yeah we can keep track of them we're in auntie mode we're like literally you guys have all those keto babies we will come to your home we will snuggle them we will love them Throw them in with the crew. But for us, we out at five, but we're going to come see you and we're going to come visit you. For the next three days, though, we're going to just hang with each other and start a workout routine uh -huh. and get back to our good fasting schedule. And plan our trip. And plan our trip. Ish. And yeah. make sure that we apparently are like truly launching and saying hello yeah. to YouTube. This is our first time saying hello, YouTube. I don't think we've done a specific one. No, yeah, this is the no, first we one. just started. They were like, so you, you're going to start that? You're going to do that? You're gonna like, yeah. Oh, yeah. We Six have months interviews. later. Oh, like... yeah. We've been all over the country. We got interviews with our friends, with our keto friends all I over the country. The videos are there. They're there. But you want them up here? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So we've started trickling those, and people went, Mary, stop. Who are you? What's happening? <laughs> you don't get to just release that out into the world and not start off and let us know who you are and what you're doing. <laughs> so that's coming. This isn't even really that. This yeah. isn't even no, really that. No, I mean, it's not, yeah. This is like the beginning of letting you know the next nine weeks, we're going to share a whole lot with y'all on the road, what we're cooking, how we're cooking, how we keto, Don't how we Don't expect a new structure. We'll just no, throw it up there. No, you we'll guys can like, have fun with no, it. No, this is me air frying <laughs> stuff in an RV in the middle of the mountains with my kids all running around outside without shoes on. This is who we are. Yeah. So it's going to be a whole lot of fun, but we are going to kind of introduce y'all to where my body's at now. We're going to do We'll show the journey. journey. We'll show this we're part of the journey. We're going to do this journey. Yeah. All the way you know, to we didn't, surgery. We didn't document. We didn't document for the years because we didn't know this was coming. No. So we don't have before, before, before. Yeah, no. It was. And even with this last surgery in December, I mean, y'all saw like, hey, I did that, and then it was like one day I was like, hey guys, I'm doing this today, and then I was like, hey, this is a three and a half week update, and then I was like, it's done. <laughs> nothing. Radio silence. Radio silence. Yeah. And so it really is so much bigger than that. And when people ask and try and understand some of the things that I'm doing, it's all because there's a version of myself that I dreamed of, that I hoped for, that I got, got scared enough at times to believe in a little bit, that I thought maybe that might exist. And there came a point in my life where I said I have to commit to her. I have to define her. I have to be specific about the version of me I want to become. And then I got to just gut it out and do what it takes to meet that woman. And it's been a whole lot of fun the last almost four years. Well, four years in September. Why we're doing this, though, you met people who saw that version of you and they said, you go get it. There were people who came into your life in this keto community oh, and they said, you go do that. And then now we have to go give that back. Absolutely. Somebody out there, we know you guys can do it too. Absolutely. Right? I think there's the it. connections and how we got from Instagram to Clubhouse to live events mm -hmm. to speaking. Y'all, I've got to be on the stage this week, this week with my heroes. Like literally it was the most, probably one of the most humbling things that's ever happened in my life that I got to share the stage with a whole bunch of people who poured into me in the form of YouTube videos or Instagram stories or, or TikToks. Yeah or clubhouse talks. And I'm going, y'all didn't even know I existed and you had no idea how much you were impacting and changing the trajectory of my story. But that's for another day, maybe tomorrow. That's for another day. There's a we day that we are going to, no, no, don't, that's not us. Don't expect it. But that is for the day that we decide it's time to share kind of who I am, where I came from, how I ended up here, how I roped this guy in. It wasn't me, it was y'all. It was the keto community that got him. Not two and a half years of me getting results Three months of no, him getting to know you all. So good. You all. And he was like, okay, there might be something to this. I'm like, you think? <laughs> but here we are, and we are just so excited to just say hello. The tour is about to start back up. And this time, we're ready to take this onto YouTube. Mm -hmm. We're ready to have y'all with us. So thanks for being here. We know they're brand new. There's 400 of you right now. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to say that on the video. 400, There's 400 cool. right now this month. That's new, pretty cool. Brand new followers this month. And I just hope that someday we can look back at that and remember that this was the first time that we said hello to the 400 who have already subscribed. Thank you so much. Thanks for being interested in what we're doing. And yeah. we're about to do 
some crazy things. So we like to up. keep it fresh. <laughs> We're ready for it. We hope you are. And thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe, like, do Look, the things. I don't even know what to tell you to do. I just got to be like somewhere around here. But if yeah. you're ready for all of it, we are ready for it too. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs>